like round and round we go When it starts, prepare to grow All right, woo, you were just listening to Days of California. I'm so excited, he's our guest for today. And uh, he hopes to inspire, as he's been inspired, to reach out with the truth of our beloved savior. Uh, Days was once recently a part of the secular music community, but got tired of the limited content, negativity, and minimum lyrical depth in the songs nowadays. As an artist, he feels the need to dig as deep as he can when it comes to the music because it changes things. Mm -hmm. And truly, Days has been changed. Mm -hmm. God speaks through his talent and he can take it to a greater height and he's excited to see how far he can go. The master track is his official song on his new journey to discovering this new venture and he hopes that you enjoy it as much as he does. And he wants to thank you all for listening. We just came on the air with Days. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's What's welcome <laughs> Days to the virtual studio. Hey, Days. How you guys doing? Good to see you. Happy to be here. All Happy to be here. All right. And you are right next door in California. We're with broadcasting from Las Vegas. We're excited to have you with us today. Yes, yes, definitely. Oh. All righty. Now, we just told our audience a little bit about you. Now, I see that you used to uh, sing secular music or have secular. Tell us a little bit about how you transitioned, when you transitioned. Uh, I hear a little fan noise in the background here. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a really, really, really loud fan. Yeah. That's what's going it's, on there. Okay. But uh, can you tell our audience how you made that transition? Also, yes. Um, in 2005, I was in an R&B group. I got um I got connected with a a couple of uh other artists and their their parents actually ran the uh their managed the group and it was my first time you know being like actual officially in like the music uh, scene so we were we were back and forth in Interscope Records and just seeing you know things that you know I mean people only imagine they could see like when Game first came out we actually met Game and all this other stuff when you know when he first first came out his first debut album. So um, uh, we got to see like, you know, that side of the world. But um, as we as we uh, progressed, um, the years went by, like, you know, I, I kind of just seen that we were copying. Like, you know what I mean? We, we wanted to be like at that time, B2K was out. We wanted to be like B2K. We I just seen people trying to be like other artists ahead of us instead of being ourselves. I've always noticed that, like I was like, we had so much more to give than to just, you know, follow behind what somebody else already did. Let's make our own trail. And that's one thing that we've always butted heads with within the group. And um, I just seen like, I don't know, I just felt like something was calling me. Now, I knew about God, I've heard about him, and I, but I, I wasn't walking with him. I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like constantly, you know, put, God wasn't constantly in my ear. And, um, you know, I remember one day I'm sitting in the car, we're on our way to a show and God, and I told God, if it's gonna be this easy, I don't want it. I don't know why I prayed that. I don't know why I said that. I just said, if it's going to be this easy, I don't want it. And next thing you know, I ended up having my daughter at 21 years old. And um, um, the group, you know, once they found out I had that daughter, it was like over. So I ended up leaving that group. Long story short, reality hit. You know what I'm saying? I got a daughter to raise. I got to get a job. And it's just, you know, and then God's been walking with me ever since. And now that I'm here, I know it's God because I had no direction. I didn't even think I was going to do music again. And here I am, you know what I mean? So it's it's crazy, it's crazy. Well, kudos to you for not giving up your dream and for keeping it alive and for allowing God to use you as his best self for changing lives. Now, yeah. I know that you're in California. How'd you end up in California? Were you born and raised? I was born out, I was born out here. I was born out here and um, we we're like an hour away from LA. So we're in like San Bernardino area. So yeah, I've been- Oh, okay. You're here. not too far from us over here in Vegas. Now, how are you guys, are you guys impacted by the fires at all or? Uh, they're like, the they're like right next door. They're they're right next, yeah, to the mountains. It's, it's crazy, but I mean, I mean, I've been seeing this for a while. So it's not like super crazy unless you're like right, right next to the homes. But yeah, it's we're getting the ashes and you know what I mean, all the residual from that. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, because we have and see the smoke all the way over here in Vegas, and the media blows it up. You would think everybody's house is on fire yeah, exactly. over here in California. So exactly. I'm always so concerned. In fact, I have it and Castle, some sister, I said, let me just wait until some of that smoke died down so that <laughs> yeah, yeah. our lives are not impacted over there. Wow. Exactly. So let me yeah. think. Now, I know you uh, have some songs out there. Um, in, on social on social media, excuse me. And um, tell us a little bit, set up the song that we just watched in the video. Let us know a little bit about what it is that we just watched, how okay. it came about. Tell us a little bit of history behind that. So that song, that so that's, yeah, that song is hard on my sleeve. I called it that because uh, the heart, you know, as a, as believers, we have to put our faith on the line. And that song, I was I was like really nervous to actually say what I felt, my opinion about what's going on, because I felt like you had to have a hundred percent of the facts. And I realized you're never gonna have a hundred percent of the facts. Some things are just faith, what you believe and how you perceive it. And in that song, I was just saying how I perceive life, how I see what's going on right now, and I'm gonna speak it. I'm gonna start speaking out on what I see. If I don't if I see something and feel something's not right, I'm gonna start saying it. That's what heart of my sleep is. I'm gonna put myself out there so that you know other people can get that 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 courage to actually step out there too. Because as, as I'm reading the Bible, I realize when we show strength, it gives others that 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 you know that ring to show their faith as well. You know what I mean? When we show strength, they'll show strength. When somebody steps up, they'll step up. And I'm putting my heart out there and like saying I'm not afraid. You know what I mean? Because I know that it takes that one person. It took one you know person from like Jesus stepped out there. He was just one man doing it. I just I'm just shutting out everybody and just doing what I really believe is to be right with God's telling me because I know God speaks to us and in, in, um, individually. And I, re I was raised thinking God speaks to everyone the exact same way. Everybody has to believe the exact same thing. And, and that's not true. God, you have your individual walk with God. And once you understand that, you know what I mean? You realize that even your loved ones, sometimes you're going to have to, you're going to have to go against what everybody says. You know what I mean? And most of the time it's always like that. And I, I realize that now. So I'm, I'm just full speed ahead. That's what that song represents. Just me believing in what I believe, speaking my truth, and how I believe God's speaking to me, you know? Amen. That's called being a leader. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. That's what definitely. Yeah, so definitely. You be a leader and let somebody's following you. So that yeah. is so true. And I definitely, I definitely put my family in everything. So you can see my family, like all of our videos are family oriented. My wife and I do all, I, I do the production as far as like the music audio, and my wife's the video. You know what I mean? We work together. My, my kids are always in it. Like, it's a family thing. Like, we got to show family. They're breaking up families. I'm showing that that's their strength. That's my foundation. You know what I mean? Like, if anything, I could fall back on my family and we're good. You know what I mean? So I, I try to show that as a representation. You know what I mean? Family's important. I love that. That is so awesome. Kudos to you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I have another question because, of course, we're in a season of pandemic. How are you all impacted by that? Like, are all of your performances virtual now? Are you all having outdoor? Like, how are you getting your music out there to share it with um, the world, your family endeavors and all of that? And yeah. what is your plan for this season during pandemic? And what have you been doing the last six months or so? Uh, so uh, I was called about a year ago to really just start to actually change my whole direction and go as hard as I am this way in this direction, which you see right now. So I just started getting to this point last year i mean this year so um i really was i really wasn't affected by it as far as like stopping shows so i wasn't really performing i'm trying to do that now and it's like now it's hard for me to get out there so i'm affected in that way because now i'm like okay how do i get out there if i can't perform like you know what i mean that's how you get most of your fans as far as i see it you know what i mean so um yeah as far as that i just i don't know I, whatever god wants me to do i believe nothing is god can work through anything he could do anything so wherever i'm supposed to be i'm supposed to be whatever's happening was supposed to happen and all i have to do is keep going be creative and figure out new ways to get around every distraction everything and that's it that's all i that's all i do we just be creative that's awesome. Yeah, because I know I got an invite. I know Fred Hammond out of Michigan, which is where I'm from, Detroit, um, having a virtual concert. And I see many others are doing that now. Yes. So even if it's real, I'm like, wow. Yes. So I see more artists. So I love how you said be creative because, yes, yes artists have to do that. Yeah. Social distancing, be safe. And now I see more artists doing 
quote unquote virtual concerts. And I'm sure you'll do just well getting out there in that uh, creative oh, yeah. zone, as you mentioned. Yeah. And uh, there's definitely space for that now as I'm seeing more and more. Exactly. Um, exactly. As they say, the fall and winter months are supposed to get worse and all of that with people being indoor. Yeah. So definitely technology can certainly help. <laughs> it, it can. It can. It Every, everybody, you know, everybody has their, you know what I mean? It's the pros and cons of everything. If you use it positively, you get positive results. You know what I mean? So that's what I plan to do. Oh, that's awesome. Now, let me ask you this. I ask every artist this question um, to fill in the blame. So this is my favorite part of the segment because even though I ask all the artists the same question, no two answers are ever the same. Yeah. And that simply yeah. is, for you to fill in the blanks. I will never forget when blank. And before you answer, we say this part of the segment is attributed to the glory of God. Like you want to say those things that you want to say, uh, those things that you will never forget that thing that you know was nobody but God that did that thing. Like you look back like, wow, that was only God. And I know that was God. Like there is no doubt in my mind that that thing, that instance, that occurrence, that whatever was certainly God. So I will never forget when blank, fill in the blanks. I will never forget when I was getting chased by a pit bull at the age of 14. He ran off the hill and, I'm, and um, I hear a whole bunch of voices yelling and I look up and a pit bull jumps off the top of the hill and starts chasing me. So I immediately just start running. There was a hill in front of me on the other side. I start running up this hill. I start running up this hill. And I'm, I was afraid of dogs back then. So I'm running, I'm running. I get halfway up the hill and I look back. The dog actually stops right at my heel. I was like, he's about to bite me. This is it, I, I didn't make it. Right at my heel, he stops and he turns on his back and he starts to, as if he's getting pet. You know how you rub a dog on his back, he gives you that, that do you know what I mean? So he's he's getting, and I looked at it, I said, he's getting rubbed. In my head, it said, he's getting rubbed. And then all of a sudden it said, jump the fence. Harry jumped the fence. So I just jumped the fence. And as soon as I jumped up, the dog jumped right after me and I got over the fence. But I was only halfway up the hill and I didn't realize how I got the other half when I noticed the dog was behind me. I just jumped and I was over the fence. So it was, that's that's something I never forget. I tell that story every year to my kids and everything just to let them know like God is definitely real. Like in the midst of that, he was telling me how he was guiding me through that. It was crazy. So yeah, I never forget that. Wow, amazing. I'm like, I feel like I'm watching a movie like, oh, oh is he gonna make it? Is he gonna man, make it? I see it like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> now we broadcast over 150 countries. Are there any special shout outs you'd like to give to anyone anywhere in the world? Any special shout outs? Oh yeah, definitely to my wife, man, for being my my biggest supporter, um, um, and my family. You know what I mean? That are there, and um, man, just yeah, just basically them. That's that's who I have right now. Just trying to trying to better my life, and you know what I mean, and just so I can set up life for them too, if I can get to where I'm trying to get to. You know what I mean? So yeah, just shout out to them. All righty, and then any closing comments? I said this to one of my artists yesterday in terms of. Um, a lot of people go to the grave without fulfilling and finishing that project that God has put on the inside of them in terms of, they say, oh, I'm going to finish a CD. I'm going to finish a movie video. I'm going to, but they never do. And sometimes they take all of those gifts and talents to the grave with them, unfortunately. As the late Dr. Miles Monroe has said, the graveyard is the richest plot of land because that's where all the dreams, visions, and ideas are buried. So what word of encouragement would you tell to that upcoming Christian hip hop artist that's sitting on their dream, they're really talented, they're gifted, but they're still sitting on it. They haven't moved, they haven't picked up the action, they haven't gathered their family together or whoever, musicians, whatever it takes to do it, they've just been sitting with this hope inside of them and not birthing it out. What word would you tell them to encourage them to get it out there? about the process, is it easy, is it hard? Mm -hmm. Give them some inspiration for that Christian ah. hip hop edit. You, you already yeah. answered it. I, I would say, <laughs> listen to Miles Monroe. If there, if, if um, I, before this all started, the reason why I got this spark, the reason why I'm talking the way I'm talking is because I walked over to my sister's house one day and she told me to listen to this guy. And I put him on and for some reason I was hooked and like the first, two minutes of hearing Miles Monroe and I bought I, I, I read all his books most of his books I can say all I read most of his books and I'm like I'm, I'm hours hours and just just 
soaking in everything and he just made me believe anything was possible and that's really how i just got this relationship with god so i mean i could say a lot of things but he will explain it you know step by step you know what i mean so if you want to stay committed you want to stay positive and you want to see like you want to see your vision you know he will explain step by step how to do that and that's because that's how i got here so all right the late dr miles monroe Definitely. awesome Definitely. now as we bring this interview to a close do you have any closing comments uh any closing comments about anything um, as we prepare to up and it's been great having you as a guest today yeah yeah definitely uh no i just i mean stay faithful i mean this is a gospel station you know what i mean we're supposed to be pushing the word out there. This isn't about us. My music is not about me. It's to encourage people. Because at the end of the day, you know, my, my goal isn't to be an artist. It's to be an inspiration and motivation to those who aren't living their dream, who aren't, you know, living their, their best life and, and are just depressed because I used to be like that. So I want to help people give them, like, to feel how I feel when you have a purpose, when you find you have a purpose. If, if so many people knew that, that they had a purpose, this world would be so different. So that is my that is my goal to wake up people up let them know you do have a purpose you do mean something you know what i mean and god is with you every step of the way but it, it's, it just takes work you know what i mean if you can get past that part like you can find your purpose so that's about it all right well thank you so much if you're just tuning in you've been listening to dave yes, yes, from yes, california yes. he's been right here featuring his debut song and uh if you missed any parts of course you can Put it on instant replay right here on Facebook Live and YouTube. Thank you so much. Uh, you can you. contact. Uh oh, I think that should that be Hisborn or uh, Highborn? Is oh that, no, no, uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Highborn. Oh, Highborn. Soldiers, okay, yeah, one, yeah. that was like uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Make yeah, sure yeah. no type. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, we yeah. got Highborn Soldiers at Instagram. Hit them up on Instagram. You can find days. Oh, there you go. Oh, I need to put my glasses on. I usually don't do an interview without my glasses. That's why. Oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> all right high born soldiers love it thank you so much days you were you awesome thank you guys we want to encourage our viewers to definitely look them up follow them on instagram and uh let them know how you enjoying this song and this music and how it's blessing you take care god bless and know that you are loved and appreciated and remember if you have everything but jesus you really have nothing at all until next time right here on 24 hg that's 24 hourgospel.com